California's environmental paradox, the SpaceX story. In the heart of California, where innovation meets regulation, a battle is unfolding that perfectly captures the state's complex relationship with progress. On one side stands SpaceX, a company that has launched dreams in orbit since 2005 from the pristine coastline of Vandenberg Space Force Base. On the other, a web of environmental regulations that's raising eyebrows across the nation. Picture this. California officials are meticulously scrutinizing SpaceX launches over sonic booms, a familiar sound that's echoed through the skies since the dawn of the space age. Yet just miles away, devastating wildfires rage through Los Angeles, painting the sky orange with what many call preventable destruction. This isn't just another story about business versus environment. It's about priorities, leadership, and the future of America's golden state. When Elon Musk recently sat down with Stagwell CEO Mark Penn, he didn't just criticize, he exposed a troubling reality about how California's environmental policies may be missing the forest for the trees. From SpaceX's ambitious plans to increase launches from 36 to 450 annually, to the controversial decisions of the California Coastal Commission, to the stark reality of preventable wildfires, this story impacts everyone who calls California home and everyone who dreams of humanity's future in space. Today, we're pulling back the curtain on how California's environmental policies under Governor Gavin Newsom's administration have created an unexpected crisis, one that's pushing even its most innovative companies to seek new horizons in the Lone Star State. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in the world of space exploration and environmental policy. Let's dive right in. The rise and fall of California's space dreams. The story begins at Vandenberg Space Force Base, where SpaceX's journey in California took root in 2005. Back then, the company chose this location for its proximity to their headquarters, a decision that would shape the future of American spaceflight. The pristine coastline offered perfect conditions for launching satellites into polar orbits, and SpaceX's presence grew steadily, marking the beginning of what seemed like a perfect partnership between innovation and California's aerospace legacy. By 2023, SpaceX had proven itself as a reliable partner for military missions and commercial launches. The company's proposal to increase its launch capacity from 36 to 450 annual launches wasn't just ambitious. It was a testament to how far space technology had come. The Air Force, recognizing the critical importance of these launches for national security, gave their full support. They confirmed that SpaceX had met all California Coastal Agency requirements, including careful measures to minimize sonic booms and protect local wildlife. But then came the turning point that would shake California's space industry to its core. The California Coastal Commission's decision to reject SpaceX's proposal marked more than just a regulatory hurdle. It signaled a deeper divide in the state's priorities. In an unprecedented move, the commission cited Elon Musk's social media posts on X as part of their reasoning. This decision came at a crucial moment in American politics, with Musk's support for Donald Trump contrasting sharply with California's deeply democratic leadership under Governor Gavin Newsom. The environmental paradox, while regulators focused intensely on the impact of sonic booms, a phenomenon that's been part of aviation since the days of the Concorde, California faced a far more immediate and devastating environmental crisis. On January 8th, as Los Angeles battled raging wildfires, Elon Musk sat down with Stagwell CEO Mark Penn to expose what he saw as a dangerous misalignment of priorities. Speaking with barely contained frustration, Musk laid bare the painful irony of California's environmental policies. While regulators scrutinized every decibel of a sonic boom, basic wildfire prevention measures were being hamstrung by the same environmental regulations meant to protect the state. Fire breaks and brush clearance, fundamental tools for preventing catastrophic fires, were being blocked by rules designed to protect species like the red-legged frog in the smelt fish. But the story doesn't end with blocked fire prevention. Musk revealed how Governor Newsom's refusal to sign the Water Restoration Declaration had profound consequences. Millions of gallons of precious water from excess rain and snowmelt in the north could have flowed daily into many parts of California. Instead, communities faced water shortages 
while watching helplessly as their neighborhoods turn to ash. The Texas Migration In the face of these challenges, Musk made a decision that would reshape America's space industry landscape. SpaceX's headquarters followed Tesla's path to Texas. But this wasn't just another corporate relocation. It was a symbol of California's declining grip on innovation. The creation of Starbase in Boca Chica, Texas, represents more than just a new launch facility. It's a vision of what could have been in California. In Texas, SpaceX found what had become increasingly rare in the Golden State. Open land, lower taxes, fewer regulations, and more affordable housing for their workforce. The company's investment transformed a small border town into a thriving hub of innovation, proving that environmental protection and technological progress aren't mutually exclusive. The national security dimension. While California grappled with its regulatory challenges, SpaceX continued to serve national security interests through its Vandenberg operations. The successful launch of the NROL-153 mission on January 9th demonstrated the company's unwavering commitment to national defense. The Falcon 9 booster, completing its 22nd flight, showcased the reliability that has made SpaceX an indispensable partner for military missions. The development of Starshield, SpaceX's military-grade satellite network, adds another layer to this story. Awarded a $70 million contract by the U.S. Space Force, Starshield represents the kind of innovation that California's regulatory environment increasingly struggles to support. This secure communication network, designed specifically for government agencies, demonstrates how private sector innovation can enhance national security if given the right conditions to flourish. A state at a crossroads, the transformation of California under Newsom's leadership tells a broader story about the challenges of balancing environmental protection with economic and technological progress. The state that once led the world in innovation now faces an exodus of its most dynamic companies. From a paradise of opportunity, the Golden State has become known for its homeless crisis, mental health challenges, and rising crime rates. Musk's criticism of California as a one-party state hostile to business and innovation cuts deep because it touches on a fundamental truth. Even the state's governor appears powerless against the regulatory machinery that's been built over decades. When Musk stated, if you had a gun to California Governor Gavin Newsom's head and said, we need to start building this factory right now, he couldn't do it. He wasn't just being provocative. He was highlighting a systemic failure in California's governance. The next chapter. As SpaceX continues to expand its presence in Texas, the company's story serves as both a warning and an inspiration. The warning is clear. When environmental regulations become disconnected from practical realities, they can cause more harm than good. The inspiration comes from seeing how different approaches to governance can unlock human potential. The National Reconnaissance Office's commitment to building the largest government constellation in history through 2028 shows that space exploration and national security will continue to advance, with or without California's full participation. The question isn't whether these advances will happen, but where they will take place and who will benefit from the jobs and innovation they bring. The Legacy of Decisions President Trump's call for Governor Newsom's resignation and Musk's declaration that it's over for Gavin reflect more than political rivalry they highlight the real-world consequences of policy decisions. While California's leaders focused on regulating sonic booms, they lost sight of more immediate threats to their citizens' safety and prosperity. SpaceX's continued operation at Vandenberg through military contracts shows what could have been possible on a larger scale. The company's first West Coast Falcon 9 launch of the year, carrying Starshield satellites for the National Reconnaissance Office, demonstrates the critical role private space companies play in national security. Yet instead of building on this success, California's regulatory environment has pushed innovation and investment toward more welcoming shores. The Future of Innovation As SpaceX builds its future in Texas, complete with plans for a futuristic community named Snailbrook, the contrast with California becomes starker. The Lone Star State isn't just providing a home for SpaceX, it's welcoming the boring company, Neuralink and X, 
creating an ecosystem of innovation that California once monopolized. This migration represents more than corporate relocations. It's a shift in America's center of innovation. While California retains significant advantages, including its talented workforce and established tech ecosystem, the state's regulatory environment increasingly acts as a barrier to progress rather than a guardian of public interest. The story of SpaceX in California is ultimately about choices and their consequences. It's about how well-intentioned environmental policies, when taken to extremes, can undermine both environmental and economic goals. As the state continues to grapple with wildfires, water shortages, and the exodus of innovative companies, the question remains, will California learn from these experiences and find a better balance? Or will it continue down a path that trades real environmental protection for regulatory complexity? As we watch this pivotal moment in California's history unfold, the message becomes crystal clear. Environmental protection and technological progress don't have to be enemies. SpaceX's story shows us that when regulations lose touch with real-world priorities, everyone loses, from the companies driving innovation to the communities facing preventable disasters. The contrast couldn't be starker. While Texas embraces the future with open arms, California grapples with the consequences of prioritizing paperwork over progress. Yet this isn't just about SpaceX or Elon Musk. It's about the kind of future we want to build. For real-time updates on how this story develops, including SpaceX's latest launches, Elon Musk's next moves, and the ongoing transformation of America's space industry, make sure you're part of our growing community. Hit that subscribe button and join the conversation in the comments below. Share this video with anyone who cares about innovation, environmental protection, and the future of American space exploration. This is Elon Musk 24 Hours, bringing you the stories that matter. Until next time, keep watching the skies and the policies that shape them. Breaking news from Starbase, Texas. The excitement is electric as SpaceX prepares for one of its most ambitious launches yet, Starship Flight 7. This isn't just another test flight. It's a milestone that marks SpaceX's bold leap into the future of space exploration. Right now at Starbase, history is unfolding before our eyes. Ship 33 has just received its payload, the first ever practical cargo for a Starship flight. We're witnessing the transformation from test vehicle to operational spacecraft, and the changes are stunning. The ship sports a sleeker heat shield design, streamlined for maximum efficiency, while Booster 14 stands ready after completing its critical preparation phase. But here's where things get interesting. SpaceX has been moving at unprecedented speed, implementing new procedures we've never seen before. They're pushing boundaries, breaking records, and rewriting the rulebook on spacecraft development. From the mysterious Department of Defense explosion warning signs appearing on Mega Bay 2, to the surprising changes in payload integration, every detail tells a story of innovation and determination. The original launch date has shifted, but that's not slowing down the SpaceX teams. They're working around the clock, fine-tuning every system, checking every component. Elon Musk himself has just revealed the new launch window, and we've got all the details you need to know. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments from SpaceX, breaking down the technical details into clear, engaging stories that matter to space enthusiasts like you. Let's dive right in. The atmosphere at Starbase is charged with anticipation as Ship 33 undergoes its final preparations. Just days ago, our cameras captured something unprecedented, a Department of Defense mass explosion warning sign prominently displayed on Mega Bay 2. This seemingly small detail reveals a significant shift in SpaceX's approach to launch preparation. For the first time, they're installing the flight termination system before rolling the ship to the pad, a calculated risk that could shave precious days off the launch schedule. But the FTS installation isn't the only groundbreaking development. Ship 33 is about to make history as the first Starship to carry a genuine payload. 10 dummy Starlink satellites meticulously designed to match the weight and dimensions of their operational counterparts are being carefully loaded into the vessel. This isn't just a test anymore. 
It's a dress rehearsal for the future of satellite deployment. The loading process itself brought its own surprises. Rather than using the traditional high bay PEZ dispenser system, SpaceX opted for a more direct approach. Each dummy satellite was carefully crane lifted into Ship 33, a process that had our entire team watching in amazement. This deviation from expected procedures 